Hey, hey, welcome to the episode and thanks for watching. Today we're going to pop open a bottle of Chimay Sink Scents and pair it with the utterly delicious and inimitable Chimay Classic Cheese. Cut. Taste a piece of cheese, savor the mild taste and smooth texture with a touch of salt and buttery finish. Sip. Take a generous mouthful of the ale and mix it with the cheese in your mouth. This blonde beer smells of fresh hops and yeast and is a rare balance of sweet and bitter. Let's take a short break from this beer and cheese indulgence and make a classic with the twist. Chimay stuffed pretzels. See what I did there? Twist? Because it's a pretzel? Okay, let's do this. Let's make some pretzel dough. In the bowl of a stand mixer, combine one and a half cups of warm water with about two tablespoons of sugar. Sprinkle in two and a half teaspoons of active dry yeast and let that get all fun and foamy in the bowl. Maybe we can squeeze in a quick snack while we wait. Cut. Sip. Ah, so good. Okay, looks like the yeast is ready. Let's add in five tablespoons of melted butter and two teaspoons of salt. Add the flour and pop this puppy onto your stand mixer. We'll use the dough hook for this because we're making dough. Turn the mixer to low and watch as the magic happens. Once the dough comes together, roll your dough ball out into an oiled bowl and cover with a kitchen towel for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Looks like I've got time to cut, sip. Now that the dough is ready, let's cut it into about one third cup sections. Roll each section out like a piece of Play-Doh until it's about 20 inches long. Flatten it out in line with finely sliced pieces of Chimay Classic. Yep, we're stuffing these bad boys. Stretch the dough over the cheese, brush the edges with water to help the dough stick to itself, and then pinch it together to seal that cheesy goodness inside. Here's the fun part. Pick up each end and draw them together to form a circle. Twist the ends together and bring them towards you and press them down into a pretzel shape, or at least something close. Let's be honest, presentation doesn't matter much here. We'll be sucking them down the moment they're out of the oven. Okay, once that's done, we'll boil a giant pot of water. Add about two thirds of a cup of baking soda to said boiling water and add the pretzels one at a time. After about 20 seconds, they should rise to the top and we'll remove them from the water and let them drain on a paper towel. Once drained, we'll transfer to a baking sheet, brush with some egg wash, sprinkle with some coarse sea salt and bake in a 425 degree oven until they're golden brown, about 15 to 20 minutes, which means we have time to cut sip. Serve this up with some whole grain mustard and what's left of your sink sense sale, and of course some more classic on the side to cut, sip, and repeat. Try these at your next dinner party and you'll leave your guests begging for more. Maybe. I don't know. Try it and let me know how it goes. Enjoy.